Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan, and I am the man in the wild. And in today's video, I'll be answering a request made in the comments by Miss Carol King. This was Miss Carol's request. Please show the three different types of sorrel. I never seen white sorrel or even heard of it. And I am from Trinidad. Never knew there was a black one either. Pitya, please. So as requested, here are the pitiers and information. The red sorrel is the most common variety and is known by almost everyone who is familiar with sorrel. The red sorrel is usually smaller in size when compared to the black sorrel. It usually has a narrow or closed top and is much more sour in flavor. In Trinidad, the red sorrel goes in season usually during the cold months, December, January, and February. Here we can see a comparison of the red sorrel and white sorrel side by side. Apart from their color, the red and white sorrel are quite similar. They have approximately the same size and shape as well as flavor. They also fruit in the same period of time. There is also a difference in their stalks. The red sorrel plant usually has a red stem where the white sorrel plant usually have a green stem. It is possible for the different varieties of sorrel to cross-pollinate. When the red and white sorrel cross-pollinate, the result is a speckled white sorrel. The black sorrel is the largest of the sorrel varieties and can get as large as one's fist. It is actually a very dark red and this dark red color gives it its black appearance. The black sorrel is much more fruitful in flavor and less sour. It fruits during the months of October, November, and December. The larger size, early season, and fruity flavor makes the black sorrel the favorite choice for farmers. Here you can see Mrs. Rupan harvesting black sorrel from our plantation. In this photo, you can see a comparison of the red and black sorrel. It is also possible to cross pollinate the red and black sorrel. On the left, you can see a red sorrel that has been cross pollinated with the black sorrel. On the right, you can see an example of the black sorrel. The black sorrel is much larger. It fruits earlier in the season and it has a beautiful fruity flavor. It's less sour than the red and white sorrel. This makes it the most favorite sorrel to make sorrel drinks, jams, and even jellies. If you would like to learn more about the black sorrel, check out the links in the description below. I have made videos in the past showing you how to grow, harvest, dehydrate, make sorrel liqueur, make sorrel jelly and jams, and much more. Check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. I really enjoy reading those comments. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a like. Commenting and leaving a like really goes a long way to help in my channel. I hope this video was informative. If you would like more information about Rosella or Sorrel, check the links in the description. I have made videos in the past about growing, harvesting, dehydrating, and even making Sorrel jellies and jams. Check the links in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe to get more info from Hardy Rupan, the man in the wild.